In this video, I'm going to be making a selenium containing heterocycle called 213-benzoseleniodiazole. Now this is a very quick and easy synthesis and only requires orthophenylene diamine, selenous acid, hydrochloric acid, and ethanol for recrystallization. To get started, I weighed out 540 milligrams of orthophenylene diamine and 645 milligrams of selenous acid. The selenous acid was dissolved in a minimal amount of distilled water, and the orthophenylene diamine was dissolved by adding 4 milliliters of 2 molar hydrochloric acid, followed by the dropwise addition of concentrated hydrochloric acid until complete dissolution. And for our reaction, the selenous acid solution is poured into the orthophenylene diamine dihydrochloride solution, followed by the immediate precipitation of our product. You can then go on to immediately filter this precipitate, or wait an additional 2 hours to maximize yield. But I just went on and filtered immediately. After pulling through all the filtrate, the product was washed a few times with water. I then recrystallized the product from hot ethanol and water, and in total I ended up using about 50 ml of 10% ethanol. The hot solution was allowed to cool slowly to room temperature before being placed in the fridge to cool down further. Then it was filtered off, washed with a little water, and dried thoroughly on the pump. I dried the product overnight in a vacuum desiccator over calcium chloride, but this step is unnecessary and air drying is sufficient. I ended up with 563 milligrams of white crystalline 213 benzoselenodiazole representing a 62% yield from orthophenylene diamine. I characterized the product by melting point, and the theoretical melting point is 73 to 74 degrees Celsius, and I got 73.7 .7 degrees Celsius at a heating rate of 1 degree Celsius per minute. So we have in fact made our selenium-containing heterocycle. Thanks for watching.